Smile and learn. Hello, friends. Today we're going back in time to ancient Rome to learn about Roman numerals. Are you coming with? Let's go. Roman numerals are the numbering system that they used in the Roman Empire more than 2,000 years ago. But the origin of this system is even older. It comes from the civilization of the Etruscans, a group of people who lived in Tuscan Italy about 2,900 years ago. Incredible, right? The Etruscans created a numbering system using symbols and later the Romans were inspired by them to create a similar system. The Romans represented numbers by drawing them like sticks. This means they drew as many sticks as units they had to count. For example, the number 1 is represented by one stick. People think that using sticks to represent numbers started because the Romans used to count with their fingers. Just like when we were little. Now that we know the origin of Roman numerals, let's look at the letters that make up the Roman numeral system. The numbering system is made up of seven capital letters, and each letter has a numerical value. Let's see the value the Romans gave to each of the letters. The letter I has a value of 1. The letter V has a value of 5. The letter X has a value of 10. The letter L has a value of 50. The letter C has a value of 100. The letter D has a value of 500. And finally, the letter M has a value of 1000. What do you think? Is the numbering system that we use today the same as the Roman numbering system? No, of course not. In the ancient Roman Empire, the numbering system was additive. This means that each letter has a value and does not have place value. That is, values are represented by the sum of the symbols in the number. But then the system changed a little to also include subtraction and multiplication. Let's look at some examples to understand it better. In the Roman numbering system, Two letter X's represent the number 20. Since the letter X has a value of 10. So if we add two letter X's, it is like adding 10 plus 10. This is how we get number 20. Let's see an example of how we use subtraction. In Roman numerals, the letters I and V represented the number 4. Since the i is to the left of the v, we subtract its value from that of the v. The value of v is 5 and the value of i is 1. So we subtract 5 minus 1 to get the number 4. Today the numbering system we use is of Arabic origin. This is a place value system which means that the value of each digit depends on the place it has in the number. And today, we still use Roman numerals for some things. Let's have a look at what. We use Roman numerals in the names of kings and queens, like Queen Elizabeth II, we can also see Roman numerals in the names of sporting events, like the Olympic Games or the Super Bowl. 
People also use them to number the volumes or parts of some books. We can even see them on some clocks. Have you ever seen a clock with Roman numerals? Lots of old clocks have them. That's all for today, friends. Next time, I'll show you how to read and write Roman numerals. Don't miss it. See you soon. Welcome back to the Roman Empire. Today, we will learn how to read and write Roman numerals. I'm sure you remember that the Roman numbering system is made up of seven capital letters and each of the letters has a numerical value. Since I know that some of you don't have the best memory, we will leave this reference table in the corner during the whole video. So don't forget to learn it. It's very useful. The first thing to know is that you read and write Roman numerals from left to right and from the greatest to the least. Let's look at an example. This number is written from the greatest to the least since V equals 5 and to its right is an I, which equals 1. So the letters V and I together equal 6. Let's look at another example. The letter D equals 500 and to its right is the letter C, which equals 100. It is written from greatest to least. So DC equals 600. Now let's look at the different rules for writing Roman numerals correctly. Let's start with rule one. When to the right of a letter we have a letter of equal or lesser value, we add the values together. The value of both letters forms a number. Let's see how this works with the example from before. The letters VI represent the sum of 5 plus 1, which equals 6. Let's do another example. XXXV would be equal to the sum of 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 5, which equals 35. Easy, isn't it? Let's move on to the next rule. Rule number two, you can repeat some letters up to three times. In the same numeral, we can find some letters repeated up to three times, but others cannot be repeated. Let's have a closer look. Let's start with the letters that can be repeated up to three times in the same numeral. They are the letters I, 1, X, 10, C, 100, and M, 1000. For example, to write the number 200, we use two C's, since the letter C has a value of 100. If we add both letters together, we get 200. But we also have letters that cannot be repeated in the same numeral. These letters are V, 5, L, 50, and D, 500. <coughs> Rule number three. When a Roman numeral is placed before another Roman numeral of greater value, the result is the difference between the numerals. You will see how clear it is with some examples. We can subtract the letter I, 1, from the letter V, 5, and X, 10, when it is to the left of these numerals. When we subtract from V, it looks like this, IV. This means 5 minus 1 or 4. When we subtract the letter I, 1, from the letter X, 10, it looks like this, IX. To calculate its value, we subtract 10 minus 1. This means IX represents the number 9. Let's look at some more letters. We can subtract the letter X, 10, from the letter L, 50, since its value is less. This means that if the numeral is XL, we subtract 50 minus 10, and we get 40. We can also subtract the letter X, 10, from C, 100. By joining XC, we subtract 100 minus 10, and get the number 90. 
You should also know that there are other letters that can never be subtracted. They are V, 5, L, 50, and D, 500. Now on to the last rule. We're going to learn how to write thousands. As we know, we can only repeat a letter a maximum of three times. But then, how do we write very large numbers? By repeating the letter M 1000 three times, we get the number 3000. But how do we get even higher numbers if we can't put the letter M any more times? Very easy. To multiply a number by a factor of 1000, we place a bar over it. Let's see an example to understand it better. To write the number 4000, we write the number 4 with the letters IV and a bar over them. This represents 4 times 1000, which equals 4000. Let's look at another example. How do you write the number 500,000 in Roman numerals? To form the number 500,000, we first put the letter D, which has a value of 500. Then we put a bar above it to mean times 1000. Basically, we multiply the value of D by the value of the dash above it. That is 500 times 1000 and we get 500,000. Congratulations! You're now experts at writing Roman numerals. See you next time! We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.